all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you please invite your friends and let us have a, this uh, this will be a short video just for fun uh, uh, a muslim he came and he said that uh, uh, farid or uh, whatever you call him he made a review of my book so i said okay that sounds good i mean this is a very good advertising for my book and this is exactly what happened uh, this is the review or what it's called review the funny they make review of my book without buying it and because of their hatred to Christian Prince, look what this idiot he just did. This is the video made January 27 today. And this is Mr. Farid talking. It's a lot of great five-star reviews. Now, I'm not going to go through this full thing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the first paragraph to show you the value of this work. Imam al-Hafiz and Ibn Hajar in the book Fatih al-Bari said, anyone he fear Allah, Allah will make him extremely horny. And this is what is. Uh, and notice here, he is making fun of my accent, supposedly. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, hmm. I wonder if your prophet want to speak English, what he will do. You don't even know how to write his name according to you. That's me, certified donkey. Now continue and show everybody how you prove that you are stupid officially and you just get your profit busted. Listen carefully, guys. This is his words. This is him trying his best to show you mistakes. One of the privilege of the Prophet, may Allah pray on him and <coughs> salute him. Therefore, he used to do intercourse for all his women every day. Volume 1, page 282. Okay, so there are a bunch of issues here. First of all, what the heck is up with the third grade level of English? Oh, wait, I forgot. <laughs> you know, with my third grade level of English, I'm making Muhammad the prophet of Islam a shish kebab. So imagine if my English is first grade. Continue. Start. Please take a note that any translation that is not showing the name of the translator next to the Quran verse or Hadith for sure is a Christian Prince translation. Mm. Great. Surely we are in safe hands. A major translation error in this paragraph comes in the form of he used to do intercourse for all his women every day. The Arabic doesn't say that. It says, كان يطوف على نسائه في اليوم الواحد. This doesn't say every day. It says in a day. Other. <laughs> he just agreed that the Christian prince, he is saying every day, but he don't agree with every day. He is saying that his prophet used to if all his wives in a day. I mean, it doesn't make any difference. The one who make it in a day, uh, is, is he repeating that or this is one time deal? I mean, this is how stupid they are. So you just agreed that the, the, the book of a Christian prince showing that Muhammad is a penis prophet. Because why you are Muslims proud about his penis? And as long you agree that this is not every day, so Muhammad he used to do it once a month, once a week according to you the question is what kind of a prophet he sleep with all his wives in one day and why you are proud about him and how you know do muhammad go around and tell the men and the women around that he is effing his wives so you did confirm that the information in my book is absolutely accurate and Sex and Allah is a great book to read because it's showing how sex is the major reason for Muslims to believe. Now, I want you to, uh, to, uh, to explain to us more, please. I will, I will go back a little bit. Oh, sorry. I click at the wrong page. Uh, I want you to explain to us more. One of the privilege of the Prophet, may Allah pray on him and salute him. Therefore, he used to do intercourse for all his women every day. Volume 1, 
page 282. Okay, so there are a bunch of issues here. First of all, what the heck is up with the third grade level of English? Oh, wait, I forgot. Please take a note that any translation that is not showing the name of the translator next to the Quran verse or Hadith for sure is a Christian prince translation. Great. Surely we are in safe hands. A major translation error in this paragraph comes in the form of he used to do intercourse for all his women every day. The Arabic doesn't say that. It says, This doesn't say every day. It says, in a day. In Other a day. problems include the following. <laughs> you know, are you saying to us that your prophet is a beast? If the guy, he have nine or 13 or a hundred women, how a man he sleep with all the women unless he is a beast? What kind of a human being he is? He is a sex machine. He is an effy machine. So you confirm that the truth is there. And now you have a problem still with my book. What else? Tell us more. The first issue is that Imam Al-Hafiz and Ibn Hajar <coughs> are actually the same person. Mm -hmm. Secondly, this opinion is not the opinion of Ibn Hajar. Rather, Ibn Hajar is saying, Qalu, meaning they said, now, I'm not sure who they are. However, <laughs> it is false to attribute the statement to Ibn Hajar. Okay, hold on. The stupid here he just said. Listen carefully. This is his notice, not me. He said that the Christian prince, he think that Ibn al-Hafiz and uh, al-Hafiz, sorry, and Ibn Hajar are two because there is end. You know, everybody knows that there is people who correct my uh, English and you are making fun of it, right? No. Look what you just did. You just confirmed that this is an error not my error because if i am saying that ibn al-hafiz and ibn hajar are two then here i should say they you donkey and you are the one who pointed that by yourself because if they are two i would say they said i did not say they i said said in his book this is how stupid you are. Secondly, oh, hold on. What secondly? Let him continue so we can laugh more. Perhaps the biggest mistake here is the attribution of this quote, though, to Fath al-Bari in the first place. You see, Ibn Hajar's book does not include any of this text. Here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you, you are a dummy and you are a donkey. And you are a certified donkey by Christian Prince. Here we go. First of all, if you go down in the in the in the page you are reading from your donkey, you will see that I am quoting a book saying that Ibn uh, Ibn Hajar saying that you donkey. This is the book, and everybody will be dying at you, dying laughing at you. Scroll down in the page, you will see it says that at Tanwir Sharh al al Sagir. This is the name of the book, you donkey. And he is saying, and he is putting the reference, I will show you the whole page. Here we go. I will zoom out so everybody can see the whole page. This is your Islamic website. Islamport.com Donkey! Read with me. Here it says, وَقَالَ الْحَافِظِ Exactly as it shows in Arabic. Copy, paste. You see how donkey you are? And then if we go down a little bit, your donkey, you will see here the reference number three. And in this page here, you know, because different print, it says value number one, page number 379, your donkey. You are a certified donkey. But now I'm going to take advantage of this review. Uh, you know, I invite all the Muslims to read my books, obviously. My book is full of valid information. As, as, as you see, I'm giving reference, and the reference is absolutely accurate. They are trying to make fun of my English, trying to say I have a mistake there by using and, but the fact they just confirmed the most important thing in the whole story. The whole story is that there is a religion, it's called Islam, and what Islam is proud about is the penis of their prophet. The penis of their prophet is very powerful. He can F all his wives in a day, as this Abdul, he said. 
This is what you did. You just confirm that six and Allah is a great book to read and making the Muslims going angry and crazy. You try to refute me, but the fact you confirmed what I said. I want to hear you again, please, because I really enjoy it. I want to go back from zero because he's almost done. You know, the rest is just blumbling. He's not talking about the book no more. Let us go back here where he start reading. Go ahead. And save hands. <clears throat> A major translation error in this paragraph comes in the form of he used to do intercourse for all his women every day. Hey brother, let me read it for you as Zachary Naik because that will make you more happy. You don't complain about Zachary Naik English, you compare about mine. Hey brother, editor, the prophet he used to have a vendor for penis and he used to go do boom, boom, boom to a good wife. And actually, the hadith said that his peanut was the most powerful peanut in the world. And he used to do if his wife, all of them, in a day, not every day, at the Christian prince, he said. <laughs> say it again, so with that. <laughs> the Arabic doesn't say that. It says, <laughs> This doesn't say every day. It says, in a day. It doesn't say every day. It says, in a day. Like, come on, man. I mean, there's a huge difference, buddy. Like, hello. Now, as long you mention this and you agree with it, let us see what the hadith says. You're a prophet, he is so filthy, and this is Sahih al Bukhari. So you cannot say that if you know the, the game. But anyway, you agreed that he, your prophet, used to F all his women in a day, according to Sheikh Farid with his goatee beard. Anas ibn Malik said the Prophet used to visit all his wives. It doesn't say he visit what visit. I mean, you, you visit, what visit? It says yaduru. What mean yaduru? What he mean by yaduru? Let us see. Maybe he's just visiting them. Maybe he's just saying hello. No. Hmm. During the day and the night. And they were 11 in number. Hmm. Now, what he was doing? Uh, uh, now, Fufu or Fifi, he cannot say this is about sex because he said, he agreed, that he used to F them in a day, not every day. So, we are not to question now if he was if in them or not. Now, look, they said that he had the power of 30 men. In different hadith, it says the following. <clears throat> Let us show you this hadith. Um, your prophet not only he f all his wives in a day as you said he f them all without washing which means he f when he finish all of them he wash read with me your islamic books all of those hadith are sahih all of them are sahih. What kind of a prophet? He go and have sex with all the women he have, regardless if they are 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. And yet he don't even wash. So you confirm that your prophet is a sexual predator. He is a beast. He is not a human. And he have no dignity. Because a man who have a dignity he will not have multiple partners without washing because this is, first, this is a very bad hygiene. Secondly, will transmit all kinds of sexual diseases. Number three, he must be an animal because even donkeys don't do that. Number four, how a prophet of God, he go around and he tell people what he do. How the people knew this? How the people knew that Muhammad, he is going to F around? And how he they knew if he is washing or not. Unless he have a filthy family, he is a filthy man who go around and he speak about what he do. In different hadith, the prophet he said, and don't tell me that it doesn't say that. CP. Here we go. Let me actually let me open it in Google Translation. Uh, so because here this is this browser will not translate because this is an, this is in Arabic. You're a prophet, he claimed that he invoke his God Allah and he sent him a dish of shish kebab it's called Al-Kufayt 
And then after he ate it, he got the power of 40 men in Boom Boom. The penis prophet. Everything about him and his God is a penis. Read the uh, no CP. It doesn't say every day. <laughs> uh, it says here, and Anas ibn Malik, that the Prophet said, قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أعطيت الكفيت قيل وما الكفيت قال قوة ثلاثين رجلا في البضاع. They said to him, what is the kufayt? What is that? He said the power of Ifin as 30 men. And he used to have, here they are saying, and he used to have nine women at that time, and he used, which means he used to F them all. Now, maybe this is not true. Translation. Google translation. <laughs> He had the power of 30 men. <laughs> and what is al kufayt al kufayt <laughs> is a dish of... Uh, uh, kufayt is coming from kufta. You know kufta? It's like you say kebab. Uh, so he invoked his God. Allah, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it. He got the power of 30 men. And the hadith says 40 men. So look what uh, uh, this Farido, he did. He just proved to us that when the Christian prince, he made a book, it's called Six in Allah, it confirmed that Islam proud about Muhammad balls and his penis. And not only that, Muhammad, he proved that he is a filthy man because Muhammad himself, he said in different hadith, that the man who go around and he speak about his sexual business inside his house, he is the most ugly person in the eye of Allah. Read carefully. The most wicked among the people in the eye of Allah on the day of judgment is a man who goes to his wives and then she comes to him and then, you know, he tell what he have, what he did with her. Do you see the hadith? Now, I want the Muslims, including this idiot who is helping me very much, to tell me how the people knew that the Prophet was if in his wives and he got the power of 30 men unless the Prophet, he said so. Or 40 men who measure it Ibn Hajar was there you idiot and the funny you said uh, he said oh, they, they said you idiot Ibn Hajar he was there for sure he was not there you're a donkey for sure he will say that somebody said and I am saying what he said because when he said they said I am saying he said stupid and in the same time I said, he said, this guy, because I consider him one. And I have tons of videos and many books. You can go read and you will see that this is not a mistake as exists. But because you are low and you are so desperate to fight a Christian prince, you confirm to us many things that my book is a priceless to read. Muhammad is a sexual predator. He's a sex maniac. He cannot be a prophet of God. And you know what? You just remind me of something. Hold on. Let me let me grab the verse. There is a verse about the, the prophet uh, of Islam, you know, the penis prophet. <clears throat> you just remind me about it, actually. All right. Here we go. I want to teach you something maybe you never heard before because you are just a kid. Like the rest of them chapter 113 verse number three is about the penis of your prophet and i have this in my book and i challenge any muslim to say this is not true i want the muslims to make a thousand video to get me busted and he might be christian prince saying that the chapter 113 verse number three is about the penis of your prophet the penis when it's standing. Let us see this time. I, I'm just giving you more hint about my book because you are so cheap to buy it. Go buy it, man, so you can uh, expose it. <laughs> so I want everybody, if you did not get my book, really, get it. As you see, the Muslims, they, they, uh, they acknowledge 
that their prophet is a sex maniac and the book is really full of valid information and as you see we are showing the reference and the reference are there you know this edit he said it doesn't say that here we go this is this is their website as you see and the reference it's mentioned num number three here the number three here is appear here is to mention where is the reference so you go number three and you will find the reference for what it said this guy is a certified donkey the same as his prophet he left as a donkey he never came back as a horse but if you read actually here i don't want to jump this because in the video he just said uh, why i want to say he just said let me show you what he said because he was he was reading and making fun of me right just wait let us go back he said something very important i did not mention <clears throat> A major translation error in this paragraph comes in the form of he used to do intercourse for all his women every day. The Arabic doesn't say that. It says, This doesn't say every day. It says, in a day. Other problems include the following. Wait, I, I, I want you to read from the beginning. What Hold the on. heck is up with the third grade level of English? Hmm. Oh, wait, I forgot. <coughs> <laughs> Please take a note that Please. any translation that is not showing the name of the translator <laughs> next to the Quran verse or Hadith for sure is a Christian prince translation. Great. Surely we are in safe hands. A major translation error in this paragraph comes in the form of he used to do intercourse for all his women every day. The Arabic doesn't say that. It says, كان يطوف على نسائه في اليوم الواحد. This doesn't say every day. It says, in a day, other problems include the following. The first issue is that Imam Al-Hafiz and Ibn Hajar are actually the same person. Secondly, this opinion is not the opinion of Ibn Hajar. Rather, Ibn Hajar is saying, قالوا, meaning they said. Now, I'm not sure who they are. However, it is false. To attribute it's false it's false even at bukhari confirmed that he have the power of 30 men 40 men and he just he admitted that stupid idiot he said it's not every day it's it is a day now is al bukhari false too is he look just to show you the stupidity of this man or sahih al-bukhari or sahih muslim when the hadith says that the prophet he used to f all his wives in one wash hmm? let us see that hadith where is the hadith hold on the one wash where is the one wash hadith uh, Let me find the hadith. Give me a second. Because if this is false, it means everything in Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim is false too. Because the hadith confirmed that he do it in one wash. One wash. Not because unless you are saying to me, your prophet, he take a shower once, once every year. Huh? Read carefully. He have... He used to have sexual intercourse with his wives with single bath. And this is the same about, can you know, mention in the same time when he was going around to all his wives. Let us search for here just a little bit, just to show you how we can get them busted by their help. <clears throat> all those hadith are mentioning the same about their prophet, that he go around to all his wives and he do intercourse with them in a single bath read carefully with me the prophet s-a-w-f-m short wave potato tomato used to have intercourse with his wives one after another read carefully this is not christian prince saying that a christian prince his english is weak so you know <laughs> and this is agreed upon the muslims agreed upon brother <laughs> one after after another I'm so glad he did not have to do three sum and five sum and seven sum. And then with single bath. So is that in, in a day or in many days? Stupid. You just got your prophet busted. 
but still there is something he said it's very important uh, let us go back continue the statement to Ibn Hajar. Perhaps the biggest mistake here is the attribution of this quote, though, to Fath al-Bari in the first place. You see, Ibn Hajar's book does not include any Yeah, we got you busted in this one. Here's a screenshot of the volume and page number for those that want to check it for themselves. Mm. What I'd like to understand is why Christian Prince provided a page volume and number for this quote. You stupid idiot. This is the page number of the book, you donkey. Which means this book, this book, you donkey, if you scroll a little bit down, you will see it says, Certified donkey. I mean, how many times I need to, to spank you a day? You remember what I did to you when you made the videos to uh, uh, Apostate Prophet? <laughs> This is the name of the, the, the book. In this book, it says that Al Hafiz ibn Hajar, in his book, in Al Fathul Bari, you donkey. Do you see it? Stupid. Now, there is something very important he will say. Now, keep in mind that this is the very first paragraph of this book. If I were to go through the full thing, I would have to make at least 100 videos. And nope, I ain't going to do that. Why? Why? Actually, where, where are you? I, I missed it. Maybe he said that in the beginning. Maybe here. Hold on. You start reading. Okay. Fatih al-Bari said, anyone he fear Allah, Allah will make him extremely horny. All right. So this is what the book is saying, and he agreed. What kind of religion believe that if you fear Allah, Allah will make you horny? You tell me. What is the connection of fearing Allah and have a penis will never go sleep? Any connection? If Allah is not a sexual God, why, if I believe in him, the penis will go so hard? Excuse my language. What is their belief? What, what kind of belief we believe in? What, who is this God who have, believing in him will string your penis? And the reason Muhammad, he have a very strong penis because he's a prophet. Actually, if you read my books too, you will find that Muhammad, he been, you know, promised to have the power of 40 men of people of heaven. And 40 people of heaven, each one of them, he will have the power of 100 men in earth. So Muhammad, he will have, if you use your calculator, an average of 4,000 men in sexual activities in heaven. What kind of a beast we are talking about? The one who fear Allah, Allah will make him extremely horny. So my friend, I want to say thank you for uh, this potato, for he is helping us. You just heard, this is what the book is saying. And he is a donkey. He doesn't understand that I am quoting the, the one who is saying, speaking in, in the book. I'm not quoting Fath al-Bahar, al-Bari, your donkey. I have, if you go down, everybody will see in my book, the, the reference for the book, which is, just down it. Down, just go down in that thing, you will see it there. You are a stupid donkey, but because of your hate, you are going blind and you hit the wall. So, this is how we get them busted, and this is how we spank them. We confirm many things, that it's not every day. It's a day. Not every day. <laughs> and we confirm from a Sahih Hadith that the Prophet who have sex not every day but a day this is the same Pupu of Mimi Hijab he, he don't pray uh, uh, to he pray for this is exactly the same kind of Pupu hmm? and we confirm that the Prophet not only he go around and he F all the women he have in 
a day, not every day, Christian Prince. Hello, without even washing, single bath. Even a pig will not do that. What kind of a creature? He got from a woman after woman, one after one, and he don't wash. What's wrong with him? Is he the devil? He must be the devil. Sahih. The hadith is Sahih, brother. Sahih. So if not in a day, all of them he is if in them. So what is it saying here? It is in a day and every day. Because if not every day, you know, what difference is going to make if it's every day or in a day? The question is, what we are talking about? A man, he have all those women and suddenly he want to if them all. Why? What happened? He got a Viagara suddenly. So you are saying to me, your prophet all the week, his, his penis was... Zzz. And you know what? You just remind me of something very important. I believe strongly that Muhammad, he cannot even have sex with a cat. The reason for that, because the, the one who brag about his sexual power, obviously the one who don't have it. Aisha, she got him busted. Aisha, she said, uh, you know, uh, the prophet, he imagined himself having sex, but in fact, he did not. So is that the day we are talking about? He is if in all his wives, but in fact, he did not. Obviously, this man, he had mental illness. Once the prophet was bewitched, so please from now on, if you see a Muslim, say to him, hey, the bewitch prophet Muhammad, he is very, very nice guy, the bewitch prophet. He, he began to imagine that he had done a thing, which in fact he did not. If you go down a little bit, you will see more hadith. It says, read carefully, this is Sahih Bukhari. It doesn't say that, CP. The prophet continued for such and such period, imagining that he had slept with his wives. In fact, he did not. Who in the world would believe that Muhammad was effing all his wives in a day? All of them. If this has happened, this guy is a beast. He need uh, he need medication for sure, and he is not serving God. A per oh, when he pray, if the guy he have those eleven or thirteen women or nine women, I mean, when he pray, unless Muhammad he is like a rabbit, he have orgasm every two second. And without even washing but as you see Muhammad he get himself busted he did not have sex he cannot have sex he imagined himself having sex and additional to all of this what kind of followers proud about such a follow that his penis is so powerful he have the power of 30 men or 40 men what kind of a prophet he says, my God, he sent me a dish of, uh, 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 I invoke, not only that actually, there's a hadith says, I was one of the most weak person between mankind. Let me see if I can find the, the, the hadith. So they will not say, but they will say, it's a weak CV. <laughs> I was the most a uh, weak person between between the between the people between mankind let us see if i can find the hadith and then allah he sent me uh al kufait here we go let me let me get you the hadith so everybody will laugh at this filthy sexual predator prophet uh, <clears throat> <laughs> Let us see, hold on. Um, uh, 
I have a hate in front of me, but I'm try just trying to find um, an official Islamic website. So they will not say, you know, we don't agree with this website. Give me a second. <clears throat> Um, I have Google Book, but Google Book, the problem we cannot, uh, we cannot use Google Translation. Let us see if this book contain English and, well, this book does not contain English, but uh, let us see, give me a second. <coughs> this one will do this is one of many books you know we are not just quoting a book i mean there's tons of books but this book will do this is islam web as you see islamweb.net this is not a christian prince website this is not a christian website or jewish website or a hindu website all right i'm going to click google translation live in the front of your eyes so you can see and read with me what the hadith is saying and for sure they will say it's a weak hadith embarrassing kuntu min aqalli an-nas fi al-jima' hatta anzala Allah 'alayya al-kufayt what does that mean i was the most one i was the most weak person in effing until Allah he sent me the shish kebab click translation No, I don't know why it's not translating. Hold on. Translate options. Translate Arabic. Hold on. Translate Arabic to English. Okay. I don't know why it takes me for the different page. Hold on. Click again. Translate. I don't know why it's not working. Maybe I need to click here. Let us see. I think maybe this website is like a window, uh, inside window. This is why it's not. Here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> I was one of the least people in intercourse. Until Allah, he sent me al kufayt The translation is not good, but you understand, right? So Allah, he sent them al kufayt Okay, what is al kufayt It is a dish. It is a dish. He ate it. And he got the power of 40 men. And he was, and Muhammad saying, I was the most weak person in intercourse. You believe it? And this is confirmed what Christian Prince is saying. Muhammad, he is suffering from sexual problem. And this is why he exaggerate with his lies. And he claimed that he have a sexual power which nobody have. So to cover the problem which he think it's a problem, you know, as a prophet, because he have to have a very good penis if he's a prophet. So he exaggerate with his lies about how many women he slept with. And then we end with those stories about Muhammad saying such a thing which is funny and stupid. You know, ask yourself, what kind of religion and what kind of followers? Uh, look, here I found different website. Different website. This is hadithportal.com. Uh, uh, I will post the link for you guys in the chat so you can open it and you can read it in case you speak Arabic. <coughs> the chapter title is ذكر ما أعطي رسول الله عليه من القوة في الجماع mentioning what the prophet was given in the power of effing imagine imagine this is a chapter name here it says hadith number 10021 it mentioned to us narrated and he will make fun of me saying narrated just wait محمد ابن عمر حدثنا موسى ابن محمد عن 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 أبي قال the Messenger of Allah said, let me close this here, so you can read the best, the, the best of it. 
كنت من أقل الناس في الجماع حتى أنزل الله علي الكفيت فما أريده من ساعة إلا وجدته وهو قدر فيه لحم Translation I was, the Prophet said, the most weak person between all mankind in effing and any time I need it Allah, he sent it immediately in a sa'a, which means immediately. Like sa'a in the, in the old days is like 15 minutes, like, like this. So anytime Muhammad, he want to F his wives, Allah, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it. He got boing. His penis is like, wow, wow, wee, 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 wee. And this is the same story in hadith number 10022. Zero, zero, two, two. And then they will say to me, no, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. Let us get click translation. Guys, did you have the website? Huh? Save it for later because later you might need it. They will say to you, it doesn't say that, CP. Hmm. Click translation. Google translation. And again, this is not my website. Before I go, Jami'u Sunnah wa Shuruhaha. This is a Sunnah website, official website. All right? Uh, you know them. Okay, let us use Google translation. Google peace upon him. But Google don't have a good penis. Muhammad have a good penis. That's why he's a prophet. Translate. Hmm? He was the, the less people. He was the less between the people in sexual intercourse. Do you see it? Who is saying that? Muhammad. It's not you are. He is saying I was. The translation here have a mistake. And then Allah, he sent me Al-Kufayt. And any time and any hour I need it, Allah will send it. And then after I, what is Al-Kufayt? It's a meat. It's a meat. You see, translation is not accurate because the language is, uh, is uh, very classic. So it's a dish of meat. I eat it. If you go down in this hadith here, the same hadith, but different number. The message of Allah said, Jibreel, uh, you know, he, he, he brought to me uh, a dish. And I ate it, a dish of meat. And after I ate it, I got the power of 40 men in boom, boom. Do you see it? This is how stupid they are. They wanted to humiliate a Christian prince. The fact they humiliated their prophet. They confirm everything I say. And their problem that Ibn Hajar is the same guy as Al-Hafiz. I have tons of videos speaking about this guy. Go watch them, you idiot, stupid. And if I believe they are two, I will say they said. I will not say that he said. Stupid. But because maybe, uh, you know, maybe your internet is bad. Later, you, your internet will be, uh, the, the video will be loaded. You can read it. And I posted the video. I mean, I mean the, the link. You can use the same. You can open it in Google browser and click a Google translation and translate from your side. Right? So look at this prophet. He confirmed to us that he was the most weak person between mankind in effing. And suddenly he got the power of 40 men. And how, how in the world he measure it? Like what? He, he brought Aisha and he asked her to sleep with him. And then she slept with other 40 men. And then they discovered that Muhammad had the power as the same as 40. She counted how many time he do it and how many uh, time they do it. How he got this number 40 men? Is that is that a number he stuck with? Yes, a number stuck. Muhammad is stuck with certain numbers. 7, 72, 40. So, and what kind of God in, and why he want to send him a dish of shish kebab? Don't Muslim they say if Allah wants something to happen, he say B is going to be? So look what happened. Allah could not fix the penis of Muhammad because it was so bad to the point nothing can make it stand even if you play the anthem. So what Allah did, he went to his kitchen and he made a dish of shish kebab. He sent it to him. Muhammad, he ate it. He got the power of 40 men. So they wanted to make fun of me. But look what happened. God is good. Please don't forget to download this video. I don't keep videos on my account. So please download and translate and share in any language. And let the Muslims see who is Muhammad. With the proofs we talk. Not like you, potato, tomato. And this donkey is saying, this is the book of Fatih al-Bari, you idiot. I was quoting what the guy said. And the book is not Fatih al-Bari. You are a donkey. Let me repeat the name of the book for you. Slow donkey. 
And your beard, by the way, is not uh, doing good. You, you should see the beard of Zachary Naik is doing better. Uh, again, this is the name of the book, Your Donkey. Here we go. التنوير شرح الجامع الصغير The reference is there فتح الباري And here they are mentioning different page Value number one Page number 379 Donkey Nice to meet you And you know if you Muslims are proud about uh, What you What I just said uh, Please I want you to download my videos And post it in your YouTube it's a challenge. Thank you, guys. May the Lord bless you. We will be live on air in the other account in the Arabian Prophet, I think, in two hours from now. Uh, late, uh, like before, I wanted to go uh, uh, online. But sometime, you know, my internet speed is really good. But upload speed sometimes go down to zero. So uh, now it's good. Everything is fine. Uh, so we will be back and we will speak about different topic. Uh, those guys are so small for me. I'm not refuting them. But I'm getting Muhammad busted. This is my mission. And he just gave me a chance to show everybody how stupid the filthy Muhammad is. There's no way Muhammad he can be a prophet and he say that he was effing his wives. And no, no man have dignity will say that. No man will go and say around, he say, I was effing all my wives. No man will say, I eff my wives with, with, the, with the... He's not even saying the word making love. He's saying a jima. Look, this is how filthy he is. And there is no way a man, he have a dignity, he will have sex with all his wife without washing. All of them with one wash. And you wonder why Corona came in from Mecca? One wash. He never heard of what wash mean. And I, I bet you that he is not washing. One wash. Even a pig is better. You know, what, what makes the animal different from a human being? And what makes Muhammad different from any animal? If this is true. And as you see, this is Sahih. Imagine you have a husband and you are, a, God forbid, you are marrying one of those Abdul. And then he have 11, 12, 13 women, whatever. And what he do? He go from women to women to women to women without his panty and he's holding his penis and yeah, next, yeah, next, one after one. How this is, can be a prophet of God? If this is a prophet of God, and the funny Muhammad himself, he said, then the most wicked man is the one who speak about his sexual activities inside his house. And not only Muhammad is filthy, actually, just before we, we go. Even Aisha, this is how filthy he, she is. She used to mention how the Prophet, he do things to her, sexual things, speaking to the public. The Prophet used to embrace me during my menses. Hmm? The fact doesn't say embrace me, it says you bashuruni. Basharats mean he starts sexual activities. Hmm? Even he is doing that when he is fasting. Even he do that when she is having her menses. He order her to put a sheet between her legs over her vagina and he fondle her. While the Quran says, stay away from women when they have their ministration so look at the coward look at the filthy look at the hypocrite he said to the muslim don't do that when women they have their menstruation but he used to order his wife and remember he have many women i mean this woman she have menstruation what about you go to the second woman let us say you are a horny filthy man who cannot stand waiting okay well she's not she's not the only one why you are ordering your wife to do such a thing and the wife of the prophet and this is sahih as you see they cannot say this is daif cp it doesn't say that cp <laughs> it doesn't say that cp <laughs> actually there's a hadith i don't know if i can find it in english it says even that the blood the blood 
from her administration when he is thundering her is touching his clothing. I mean, imagine the woman, she is bleeding. And the filthy animal, he is putting his private part between her legs. And this is Sahih CP. So guys, thank you very much for being here. I hope we have a good time. Thank you, Mr. Farid, for the time and the joy. I really enjoy it. I invite everybody to read my books. You can find them on Amazon. Six and Allah is a very powerful book. I advise you to have it. And I tried really my best to make it short, but it's fantastic. You will hear information you never, ever heard before. So by the help of uh, the Muhammadan, we are getting really, you know, to every house. God is good and we are happy with their help. Uh, so at uh, two hours from now, we will be in the Arabian Prophet. Until then, see you there. Christ is Lord. And don't forget to say hello to no CP with his <laughs> funny goat. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear it? <laughs> Stupid people. Oh, my mic's still on. Hold on. <laughs>